Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to recap electrical power. So let's get started. Now, you should remember doing electrical power in National 5 Physics, but it also appears in the Higher Physics course. So we start with the definition of electrical power. Electrical power is the electrical energy transferred per second. We also sometimes talk about the electrical energy being transformed each second. So here's the equation from this definition, P equals E over T, because it's electrical energy per second, which is per unit time. So P equals E over T, where P is the electrical power measured in watts, E is electrical energy measured in joules, and T is the time measured in seconds. So from this equation, you should be able to notice that one watt is equal to one joule per second. So if we look at the units of this equation, we have watts on this side, joules for energy, and seconds for time. So we can say that one watt is the same as one joule per second. You might also remember from National 5 that we have four power relationships in total. So we've got three more here, and the first one we're going to look at is the relationship between power, current, and voltage. So you might remember this one, that P equals IV, so power is equal to the current times the voltage. So if you have the current passing through a component and the voltage across that component, then you can calculate its power. And it says where the symbols have their usual meanings. So we've already talked about in previous videos what current and voltage are and their units. It then says to determine the relationship between power, current and resistance, we can use the equation for Ohm's law to help us out. So it says since P equals IV, which we've just seen, and V equals IR, substituting for V, we get P equals I times IR. So putting this IR in place of this V here, we get P equals I times IR, and I times I gives us this I squared term. So we get P equals I squared R. So if you have the current passing through a component and the resistance of the component, then you can also calculate its power. And again, the symbols have their usual meanings here. Lastly, to determine the relationship between power, voltage, and resistance, since P equals IV, and again from Ohm's law, V equals IR, if we rearrange this one for I, then we get I equals V over R. And if we now substitute for I in this equation here for P equals IV, then we would get P equals V over R times V, which gives us this thing here. So P equals V over R times V. Or because we've got V times V, that comes out as V squared. So we get the equation P equals V squared over R. And again, the symbols have their usual meanings. So if we know what the voltage across a component is and the resistance of the component, then we can also calculate its power. And remember, power is measured in watts. So we've got four power relationships that we can use depending on the information that you're given in a question. And I should point out that you don't need to be able to derive these equations like we've just done there. You just need to be able to use them in a question. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.